I'm Samantha Bryony Diamond, and we don't have titles. <laughs> Les Me Coles founded the business in 1926. He actually got the name Pen right through. At the start, he was getting all of his crude oil from Pennsylvania, and he always thought it was the right stuff, so it's Pen right. Les Me Coles actually founded the business in his kitchen, in his mum's kitchen. That's yeah, when he first started to blend oil, and, and from there it sort of just went on. I mean, imagine that. Imagine now. I wouldn't be too happy if my son started blending oil in the kitchen. So Les was uh, at that particular time only blending oil for farmers because back then in Brunswick, that's where obviously a lot of farming land was there. So he only did two oils at that particular time. Um, he met my, my father, John Diamond, uh, in the early 70s when Dad was working for Lubrizol. Um, they became mates um, and unfortunately Les became ill. Um, and did not have any family members to pass the business on to. So Dad bought the business in 1979. Dad worked his butt off for, for 10, 15, 20 years to get the business you know, where it is today, so very much so, and he did it for the family. Um, so for us to all be involved in the business, well, there's probably six of us in the business now, um, to be a part of it and to keep going with what Dad would have wanted it to do, absolutely, it's important to all of us. But we weren't forced to. Dad never forced us to do anything. It was always a choice. Uh, of course, he encouraged us to take part in some way, but um, we certainly weren't forced to. Um, I think everyone's just grown up with it and have, have loved to have stepped in and, and helped in some way. When Dad first brought the business, there was two oils. And then Dad saw there was a gap in the market. He saw that Australia had different climatic conditions and that we need some better viscosity oils. And so Dad came out with HBR 30, 40 and 50. And so that was quite a remarkable change. Dad did cop a little bit of flack for it because there was no other oils in that era like them. But um, Dad knew what he was doing and, and, he, and he proved it to be, to be the right decision. We've got an office in each part of Australia and then also in New Zealand and we've got a business also in the UK. Um, we recently bought uh, forest lubricants over there. Um, we had been in the UK for about 10, 15 years anyways, um, but mum purchased the business a couple of years ago just so we could concentrate and grow the business over there as well. Yes, I think that's one of the excuses that Dad used to purchase an oil company was to buy, you know, his, his motor cars and a, a lot of them used to pop up without Mum knowing, so Mum would always be a bit suspicious of that, but yeah, Dad, Dad's passion for motorsport was from a very early age when he worked at Vauxhall, but yeah, his, his love of old and new cars, mostly old, um, and he, he managed to buy some of those cars that he really, really wanted because of the business. Well, yeah, it's giving back to Australian grassroots motorsport. We want to make sure that we're covering every genre, that Penrite can be seen to be used in every side of motorsport, that we want to be there helping as well. There's so many clubs out there that need a hand, so we want to be there to actually help, whether it be doing some printing or um, putting a sticker on or whatever it may be, doing some talks, just being able to give back to some grassroots motorsport.